Hello viewers, we have updated hospital management system .NET 5 to .NET 6. So in this update, we have included uh, additional feature like uh, added patient serial long into different list, update user management module. So we have updated user management module and refactor it. Uh, currently user management is more faster, dynamic and uh, you can uh, assign role uh, dynamically so we have updated the user role management uh, as well so here's, here is our login screen uh, let me just log in as an admin user for demonstration so if I log in as an admin user uh, I can uh, check uh, the initially the dashboard and so this is the dashboard in the dashboard you can uh, check the recent payment recent checkup and the pie chart for the payments and uh, in this update we have uh, as i mentioned uh, update user management so previously there is no user image and in the user details uh, you can check the access role and uh, we have added new module like manage user role so here is the user role list and the system role this is the this is the role name currently we have in the systems and also uh, we have uh, added uh, like uh, serial now previously uh, this uh, column was not here also in the check uh, check up we have added the serial now and add, uh, apart from this uh, we have uh, just uh, uh, fix some bugs so let me demo one by one so uh, initially i will uh, demo on the role management so uh, i will i already created test role super admin let me uh, open it so super admin can access all the pages and the general role uh, just uh, can access the dashboard and user profile uh, if I create a test rule just for demo test role TBD and just I'm um, selecting true pace safe so test rule has been created successfully and if we check the test rule we can see just a two pace this rule user can access now I create a new two different user and uh, assign two different user role like first user will uh, super admin and second user will general role uh, test user phone number new one password just one two three and that uh, test rule super admin safe so test rule one has been created successfully now I will create another user uh, like test user geo2 phone number and just email address a2 of general role safe so two different user has been created successfully if we check uh, uh, two different user details uh, first was a uh, first user can access all the base application all the base and second user can access only two pays in his profile and dashboard uh, now if i uh, sign out and sign in using this new uh, user credential then uh, you can cross check uh, is it working as expected or not uh, so a1 sign in so this is the super admin role user and see this user can access all the pages and if we sign out and sign in as a general role user uh, sign in successful so this general user can 
see only his profile details so this user can access dashboard and user profile other page cannot access sign out and sign in so in the system rule you can add new role name as well and if you are going to add the existing rule then you will get an uh, warning message rule already exists rule cannot be added and uh, just add me to so system rule has been created successfully uh, so dotnet core we have updated the entire project dotnet 5 to dotnet 6 so if i just give you simple overview so here is the project structure you can open it a visual studio as well i am just using vs code so here you can see just program.cs file uh, in the dotnet uh, 5 uh, uh, project structure was startup.cs and program to different class now in dotnet 6 only program.cs so all dependency db connection and uh, app.startup app.start or all, all the program you have to uh, take care here and uh, this is the project uh, I, if i give you the simple overview controller and here is the model uh, view model and uh, here is service and here is the view and here is the J uh, css and javascript code so if i back to the uh, project uh, uh, this clinical management uh, uh, system is uh, complete solution for managing a clinic uh, uh, dynamically so i'm just uh, creating a demo prescription now so i will create uh, first patient so, Mr. Uh, Reja and male single, gender male, date of birth, uh, not required field. So, I am just create a patient, Reja and pa here is the patient appointment. So, as a text, uh, uh, text operator uh, or any assigned uh, operator can create the assistant can create the patient appointment mr reja and select a doctor name who is doctor uh, mr reja will uh, going to visit uh, let's say mr james so serial number is 104 automatically created from the system and also this serial number can be changed uh, note tbd save so serial has been created so we have three uh, uh, patient right now in the system uh, 102, 103, 104 and the uh, nursing uh, vital signs uh, as a nurse can add the before going to uh, visit the doctor face to face. So, just demo data, save. So, nurse uh, will add this uh, vital signs sign and this is a checkup uh, prescription basically. So, uh, a doctor will uh, a edit this press uh, prescription or create this prescription so this is the checkup chief compliant treatment investigation vital signs already uh, filled up by nurse chief compliance and treatment just uh, adding some demo data number of days one before mail So I just added two uh, uh, tracks, uh, symptoms, test, data, test data, test data, test data, test data, advice, test data, save. So checkup updated successfully. This is the doctor input in the prescription. So you can check the history as well uh, in the prescription. So this is the just one prescription for this patient. So there is no additional history uh, for this patient. You can download this prescription and print this prescription. So better to uh, better uh, for printing go to the print option and you can uh, this is the print preview. And uh, if I press the print button, so you can print this prescription the checkup summary vital signs uh, medicine details and here is the company details and here is the patient details uh, 
uh, doctor info we have updated this page as well and uh, also the uh, also we have updated the user management nurse nurse laboratories pharmacist and accounts accounts list details as well in the manage expense you can uh, complete the payment so i just created uh, mr reja uh, appointment or and uh, doctor has been uh, complete the payment so com com complete the checkup input so you need to just edit so automatically uh, drugs and uh, like uh, consultation fee has been added so if i click check the full paid full paid amount has been added and if i add save so payment has been added successfully and if i click the invoice then i, uh, I can i can check the invoice details also i can uh, print the invoice So, uh, hospital management uh, system is uh, built uh, using the latest SP.NET Core 6.0 and in the front end we have used uh, data table, jQuery data table and uh, Razor. Most of the cases uh, we have uh, used uh, JavaScript, uh, jQuery and in the back end we have uh, used C Sharp and in the feature you can check the medicine module expense module clinic module bed module manage lab and the report you can check the service payment report uh, payment report payment mode report and the expense report as well so this is the complete solution if you want it to edit or add new feature you are always most welcome and if you are interested uh, this application you can purchase this application from the code canyon also if you have any queries technicals uh, details or any help we always uh, uh, ready for giving you the best support just go to the code canyon and purchase it here is the link i will share the link in the video description so hopefully everyone uh, like this video and like this new updated new update so uh, also we have a plan we, we will add new feature and uh, fix the current uh, feature and fix the existing uh, bug if any also we have uh, improved the current user journey as well so thank you for watching this video uh, you can share your uh, feedback and uh, new feature request so so that we can improve this uh, application See you in the next video.